So, Mike, I understand that you came here tonight because you have something really heavy weighing on your mind. Yes, Jonathan. I came here because I'm having, well, I'm having this inner conflict. But this inner conflict happens the same time every year. It's like, I, I, I can't explain it. Well, maybe I should back up here and, and give you a little more of a background of my conflict. You yeah, see, I, th I think that would be a good idea. You see, I'm a fantasy football commissioner. I've been doing it for the past five years with the same group of guys. But every year there seems to be this uh, aggress aggression, I, I, I conflict. We're constantly, we can't get together. We can't find a, a place to draft. We can't find a mutual, we can't find mutual time, or everybody has different schedules, and it's just on and on and on. Of course, everybody's got opinions about where they should do this and what we should do, but you know what? It's always me that always has to make the final decision, and I'm, I'm frankly getting tired of it. I can sense that you're having a really hard time with this, Mike. I am. Would you like to do something about it? Yeah, actually I would. For five years, the, the past five years, yeah. It would be a nice change if I could learn to, to, to channel this, this inner conflict and, and, and know how to deal with it better. Well, it sounds like you identified something very specific. You said that everyone that's involved in this is very aggressive. So it sounds to me like one of the things that would be helpful for you is for us to do some type of a relaxation exercise. Is that something you'd like to try? Relaxation, huh? Well... Yeah, I mean, I'm here, so I'll, yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm willing. Let's, let's try it. Well, what I'd like you to do is close your eyes. Okay. And just breathe very regularly and rhythmically. And I'd like you to imagine yourself with all of these people that you said you're experiencing some type of a conflict with. Mikey, anti-man here. I just came into your thoughts to remind you how stupid of a pick Charles Rogers was last year. I mean, come on, man. He was a rookie, and you put him in the third round. This is why you're always in last place. Uh, yeah, Mike, this is uh, Greg. I just want to tell you that I came up with a new calculated mathematical computer system that's going to make sure that I beat all you stupid jocks in your useless fantasy sports league. In fact, my number one pick, according to my computer, is going to be Travis Miner of the San Diego Patriots. Uh, yeah, Mike Ryan here. You know, I'm, I'm not too comfortable with this whole drafting online thing. Uh, I need some, like, interpersonal connections when I'm doing my draft. Otherwise, I just don't feel complete. It's a Red Sox fan thing. Hey, Marcus here. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Why am I smaller than everybody else in the Thought Bubble, too? It's Scotty, and I'm back. And guess what? I'm going to law school, which means I'm more important than all of you. So you're going to bow to my needs. You're going to do the draft when I want to, and you're going to kiss my feet! And now, while you're feeling really, really deeply relaxed, I'd like you to imagine coming into the room where all of you are your fantasy football guru. Someone who you imagine knows more about fantasy football than anybody in the whole world. Can you see that, Mike? I can. can I can you actually experience see that. Actually, there's, there's more than one. There's more than one. That's excellent. Now, in this relaxed state, I'd like you to imagine this fantasy football guru or gurus telling you things about this conflict that you're having giving you words of wisdom so that you no longer experience yourself in conflict and imagine everybody in harmony. Mike, Terry Bradshaw here. What you gotta do with those miscreant friends of yours is treat them like I treat my hogs back in Mississippi. When they're misbehaving, I just grab me a big old two by four and beat them till they're baking. Yeah! Mike, it's Sean Madden here. What you gotta do with those your friends there is first you gotta put them in the headlock like this. And then you gotta pull up their pants and give them a big old wedgie like that. That way, not only do they get a headache, but they also have their underwear in their crack. Hi Mike, it's Joey Harrington here. I'm sorry to hear that you're having problems with your friends. In fact, I felt so bad about it, I wrote a song for you on my piano. I'm gonna play it for you right now.
Yeah, doesn't that sound nice, Mike? Now just sit back and enjoy my infeminate piano playing and relax. Wow. Jonathan, this is great. I, I feel different. And I, you look different. I feel like a new commissioner. You look like a new commissioner. I really get the sense that you have resolved this issue within yourself. I think I have. Well, there is one. One issue I, I'm having a little trouble with, but not, not that it changes anything. Who do I draft in the second round? <laughs> you think I know? <laughs> 